Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and I wanted to show you how to create this. This is for the second day of Inktober, and instead of doing ink, I decided to create 3D renders, which I guess you can call it 3D ink, I don't know. My strength definitely lies on 3D art, so I wanted to still be involved in Inktober, so therefore I'm creating a bunch of really fast abstract pieces that match their word of the day. That's why I created this. I also thought it might be fun to kind of demonstrate my process and just kind of show you guys how I created it so that you can learn from it. I am going to blaze through it really quickly. So just FYI that I'm going to try to do this fast. So, but hopefully you can take this and rewatch it and do whatever you need to, uh, to kind of get the, the idea. So today I wanted to show you guys how to create, uh, how to disintegrate something. And um, I'm going to use this model. So you can download this at academicphoenixplus.com. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these items because I really just need her. And I might make her bald for this, for my sake, just to make my life easier. And I'm going to go ahead and delete some faces here. Maybe I'll delete these and this. So what I'm trying to do is just kind of clean this up a little bit so I don't disintegrate too much. Uh, it's going to be, you know, the more geometry it has, the more expensive it's going to be. So let's, let's try to make it as simple as possible. All right, cool. Um, right now it's in smooth. So if I press the number one, this is what it looks like. Let's go to modeling and then we can go to mesh smooth to give us a little bit more mesh and we can get some interesting effects. So she's missing back hair and the top of her head because, you know, she used to have a lot of hair, but let's go on with that. Let's go ahead and freeze the transformations, delete the history, and let's save. All right, so it looks like we're ready to rock and roll. The first thing we need to do is grab the edges, grab edge, right click edge, select your mesh, and then go to edit, detach. So it is going to quadra uh, it's going to make it look like she's made out of squares because she is. Now I can actually select her face, one of the faces and separate it, which is kind of how it works when you're trying to disintegrate something. Uh, you need lots of pieces. So now that I have that, let's go to our effects. Let's go to end cloth, create end cloth. And one of the first thing I do is turn off self collide. I have too much mesh for it to actually calculate if it hits one of its own pieces it will collide and bounce off each other. I really don't need that. It's going to be too expensive. So I went ahead and turned that off and let's see what that looks like. Whoop, there she goes. So that's a good sign, sort of. She looks super creepy, but it is working. Uh, let's rewind that. Let's go to our nucleus and let's turn off our gravity. Zero. The reason why is because I want to disintegrate this myself. So now the gravity isn't working. Great. Um, let me hide some things here. Okay, so next what I want to do is select the mesh and let's add a turbulence and let's go to the options. And I'm going to leave it at this default, which is five magnitude, all that jazz. Scroll down and one of the uh, options is usually this is none. I choose a sphere and then create. So I'm going to get this in the middle of the scene. So I'm going to bring this up and the cool effect that it's going to have that if I press play is going to dis <laughs> poor girl, uh, it's going to disintegrate my character, which is exactly what I want. Um, it's a little big. I really only wanted to affect the top of her head. So let's see what that looks like. Still, maybe, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower. Uh, let's scale this down. See what that looks like. So I want to kind of keep her eyes, right? Cause that's like, that's the window to the soul. So it's important to keep her eyes. Otherwise, if this is lower, it's going to be super freaky. So let's keep her eyes. All right, so it's going in the wrong direction. Actually, let me move this back a little bit. I get a better effect this way. We'll see. Just trying to see where the disintegration is happening. All right, that's not bad. I can maybe go a little lower. Again, this is kind of like trial and error. All right, so it's going the wrong way. I don't want it to go that way. I actually want it to go up a little bit. So since I have my turbulence field selected, take a look at your turbulence field attributes. And we have something called phase X, Y, and Z. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase my Y a little bit. And again, you're gonna have, to, it's dynamics, right? You gotta rewind, play, and that's the effect we're getting. So let's move the phase X a little bit, rewind, play, 
And there we go. That's more the effect I'm going for. I'm not too fond of the Y. Let's move it down. And let's bring in the Z a little bit. Rewind, play. All right, so now it's moving towards the camera, which, I mean, that's a cool effect. It's a cool effect. Let's see what that looks like. Arnold Render. I already have a couple of lights in the scene. So this is what it looks like right now. And, um, you know, it's okay. I'm not too fond of the way it's phasing, but that's an interesting way of looking at things. So let's go ahead and just move everything back to zero, except for my phase X. Rewind, press play, and let's see what we get. Okay, let's make this a little bit stronger. Let's mess around a little bit more. So like that, let me just reduce everything. So we're getting closer. So again, it's kind of like a trial and error. Like what type of look do I want? Do I want it to, I might decrease the magnitude a little bit. Whoops, not too low. And um, let's bring, let's do this. If you grab, if you select the letter T, so W, E, R, and then T, it gives you the attenuation. So that'll kind of let you know um, what's happening. So the stronger the geometry is to the center of this, the it's gonna have a little bit of a fall off. Right now the fall off is very little, so the energy is of this um, turbulence is going from here all the way out pretty evenly. I can reduce that by shrinking that curve. So now when everyone in play, oops, looks like I did too much. So let me bring that back up. So now it's not as strong uh, as it gets further, further away, it, it kind of weakens. So that's kind of like a nice look. So let's see what that looks like again. So I'm kind of digging the way this looks and let's go ahead and stop. And I'm gonna leave it here for now. And the next thing I wanna do is um, kinda of like assign a new material. So I'm gonna assign a new material, grab an Arnold, let's add an occlusion, and let's see what that looks like. So I'm kinda of liking this. I like the way that this occlusion is looking. Um, I might wanna bring this a little lower. And I also like the way the eyes are being captured. Now I'm not too fond of the color, um, the noise of it. So what I'm gonna do is actually hide these for now and then do a basic Arnold light physical sky. And what's nice about this is that I'm naturally gonna get this blue light. Now I think it's a little weak. So I'm gonna select this light and I'm gonna increase the intensity to three. So maybe that's too much, let's go to two. So I'm liking the light, well, maybe three might be better. So I'm enjoying the light. I like the occlusion. I think I want to fix the occlusion. Let's go back to the ambient occlusion. I'm going to increase my samples because right now the noise is pretty strong around here. I want to make sure it looks good. Um, but I'm also losing my beautiful eyes. So I'm going to bring my sun direction and that looks actually not bad. So let's get a better angle. Right, so we want to work with the rules of thirds here. Oops. Something like that. Cool. So save, always save. So I like the way things are looking, but I want to make the shader a little bit more complicated. So let's hop into the hypershade. So I've got my model selected, I'm gonna click on this, and this is gonna give me an AI ambient occlusion with the SG node. I wanna mix two of them together. So let's grab AI mix. I'm gonna grab the occlusion and bring it into the shader one. And then I also want is, um, I might do an AI wireframe and see what that looks like. I'm gonna grab this, plug into shader two, and then I can grab the mesh. I can either middle mouse and drag this, or you can always right click, assign existing material, and then look for the um, AI Mix Shader one. And let's see what that looks like. All right, I 
kind of like the polygons, but let's see if maybe it might be better if we change our wireframe into polygons and we could potentially change the colors. So instead of black, we can go for blue or something a little lighter. There we go. Something like that. We can always change the line width so we can either make it really subtle or we can make it very dark. I'm going to go for a little bit more subtle. Maybe darken this a little bit more so we can see it. Kind of interesting. Just for the heck of it, I'm going to see patches. Meh. Triangles again. Might go back to polygons. I'm fond of polygons. I'm kind of biased. Uh, let's take a look at a mix shader. Right now, our mix shader is using 50% of the ambient occlusion with the wireframe. So if I go to the left, is all occlusion. If I go to the right, it's all wireframe. So somewhere in the middle. So if I wanted to be a little bit more wireframe, I can kind of play with that. There's also different types of blend. I have add, and then I also have, we'll just blend. So it's up to you which one you want to use. And let me see if I can get a little closer. Might be more interesting that way. Just have a little bit of that abstract feel to it. And yeah, that's the basics of how I created that. Uh, this render. So hopefully you found this helpful and interesting. Again, it was very quick, um, but this is for Inktober 2019, day number two, and this is called Mindless. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to continue these. Um, I may have to miss a couple of days because I'm going camping and a couple of other events, but um, I'm hoping that I can make a habit out of this and uh, you guys get to watch it. So hopefully I'll be uploading a lot more. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Really would appreciate that. Take a look at academicphoenixplus.com for free downloads, uh, free eBooks, and so much more. And of course, like, subscribe, and share. I would love that too. All right, guys, thank you so much. Again, keep creating, and I will see you next time.